Now on to the video series for heat treating. Heat treating is very, very important as a machinist because you need to be able to understand what happens at a molecular level. And that will just make you that much better of a machinist down the road. You will also, during these series, we're gonna be going over definitions, what happens to the atoms and the molecules as it's being heat treated and the different processes that you take during heat treat because there's not just one way. So we're gonna be breaking this down into a couple of different sections. Number one is going to be the hardening of the material. So after you harden something, you have to be able to, to draw it back down because just because something is hard does not mean it's tough. Those are two different definitions. Whenever you heat treat something, you could throw it on the ground and it snap in half. So it's very brittle after you harden something. So the very next thing you need to do is temper it. So we're gonna go over what happens when you temper material. All right, and then the very last thing is going to be annealing material. And what annealing material is, is taking hardened material and drawing it back down so it's in a machinable state. So it's just making it softer. So you can machine it and then you can, it's kind of like the reset button for heat treating material. So in the next couple of videos, we're gonna be going over the, the different definitions for heat treating, such as martensite, austenite, and ferrite. And then we're gonna be going over what can and cannot be heat treated and why heat treating is so important. Because if your customer comes up to you and they, have, they don't really have an idea of what they need, you need to be able to understand, well, S7 has a better wear factor than A2 or you need to know the different materials out there and the functionalities and the wear parts because certain materials were created just for a certain job. So there are many, 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 many definitions and many reasons why the different materials are out there. So during this series, we're going to kind of break down the different materials, go over what knives are made out of and sockets and things like that because the more you know about metallurgy, the better machinist you're going to be because you need to understand why material cracks why whenever you bend it it snaps in half because there's some material that you can bend and some that you can't and we'll go over all the definitions that way when you're talking to other machinists and other people you have a better understanding and you don't just sound like some guy who doesn't know what he's talking about so other than that we'll go ahead and continue on and move on to the different definitions and breaking everything down to a molecular structure